Sorry Mario, but Secret of Mana is in another castle. Hello everybody, I'm Tarquin and welcome back to Seiken Densetsu 2 for the Super Famicom. Super Family Computer. Um, in the last episode, I was calling this city Tatango because I am being weird. Actually, when I went up onto the pedestal to touch the seed, I called it Matango, the correct name of the city. One time, so. Welcome to Matango, not a uh, uh, portmanteau of Tatanka, uh, the 90s wrestler, and Matango, the city. Okay, so, the king wants to see you! Hurry up into the castle! I'm a mushroom! But I'm gonna go over here to the item shop where we get a lovely thing. A Cobra bracelet? Cobra bracelet? I think is what it's called. Um, so yeah. You can get three Cobra bracelets. I'm just, that's what I'm calling it. Cobra bracelet, yes. One, two, three. And get some pink clothes for everybody. We like pink clothes. Two. Three. And get one of these for the Bowie. And let's see if we need any more of those stuff. No, look, this is the first place you can buy the seed, and see, it doesn't cost a thousand dollars! So I'm gonna buy some. Normally when I play through this game, since I've played through it a million, bazillion, quadrillion times, I don't buy seeds. I, uh, my inner code that gives me, uh, 99 mana for both of them, just because I like to play the game. I like to hear the music, and I like to use the magic, and I don't really, I know I can beat the game, so I don't really, uh, feel like um, adding that extra element to it. That, to me, is not enjoyable. I like games where your mana recharges, so the closest thing to it is just give myself infinite mana. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I'm still in here. So, let's equip ourselves. Okay, let's equip the girl. Um, you already have a hat on. So let's give you some fancy overalls and the Cobra bracelet. Sure, why not? And let's throw one on Randy. You get the new hat, which doubles your defense. And that doesn't double it, but pretty good. And boom. And then to me, or the character I'm controlling, why did I go up? I shot some down! Let's go this way and throw on some fancy overalls and a little swirly swirly bracelet. Yay! I has a bracelet, it is on my wrist. I will wear it in battle and hit you with my fist. Yay! Okay, let's go into the castle. And look, it's our old friend Watts who apparently has 40 million brothers. Uh, he said, oh, I thought I missed you. Um, what can I do for you? Because my name is Griswold. Okay, we got a boomerang orb from the Axe Beak, I think, and I uh, don't see where we have any more. Um, yes. I don't think I mentioned this in the last video, maybe I did. Um, Axe Beak is actually not that guy's name in the, in the Super Nintendo version, it is in the Japanese version. Um, Axe Beak is the name of the palette swap later on in the game in the S Super Nintendo version. Um, the one later on in the game, I think his name is, um, Death Beak or Demon Beak or Hell Beak or something like that. I don't know. Let's go, um, let's go up here. Yes. Let's talk to the king. Hello, King Mushroom Man. I'm going to call you Toad Fuchsius or Frog Fuchsius, whatever. Um, who are you? Eh? Um... You came to my kingdom. I'm glad you came to my kingdom. I have an important task for you. What? Oh wait, you must be the heroes of, of the story. There is a story of a person who pulls a sword out of a stone. He rides a great white dragon. He has a pink bandana. And his butt's too big. And he is the hero of time. He's the hero of mana. That's it! You have to be him, right? Um, what about the dragon? Nah, you'll get a dragon. I think there's a dragon actually in the forest. There was a giant snake. I 
killed the dragon's mother. And you need to go save the baby dragon. So go upstairs and find the treasure chest in my room and use it for the benefit of mankind. All is well. Go forth, Randy. The chewy chunks of degradation are become you. What? I don't I don't even know. So yeah, I need to go to the thing in the background. Background? Behind the castle. You just got a javelin orb. I think it's a javelin orb. Maybe? Question mark? I've been right most of the time before, so maybe I'm right again. Okay. Watts, fix me up. I need a fix. I need a weapon fix. Yes. It is a pole dart. I was right. Sweet. Javelin, pole dart, whatever you want to call it. And it became a trident? Looks like it became a trident. It did become a trident. Cool. So I'm gonna go over here because I need some life and probably need some mana. And some joy. Yeah, I need mana. And some joyness. Yep, I need mana. So let's go over here and find one of those little weird abnormalities in the game. Uh, you can walk through the wall here for no apparent reason. You can go all the way around here and do absolutely nothing. You can't go talk to that guy. You can't touch the pot. You can't eat the strawberry. You can't grab the sack off the pole. No reason to go over there whatsoever. And that is one of three of those passages that I have found in this game. And only one of them is intentional, as far as I'm aware. Dude, 50 gold? What a ripoff, Mushroom Man. Are you related to Toad? Because I think Toad would rip me off too if I asked him to sleep in a thatch bed made out of pine straw. But he has a heart on his head. Sure, I'll save. Why not? Because I'm cool like that. Yeah, you have heart mushroom tattoos on your head. You're not Toad. You're not my friend. Leave me alone. And this guy was blocking the door, but he's out of the way now. You may proceed. Peace out. Okay. So, let's go see what's behind the castle while we listen to the awesome drums. Do, do, do. And look, it's another Ifish. Die, Ifish. Oh, he's making a face that I make sometimes. I mean, when I'm making silly faces. Not, not a face that I make subconsciously. And there's the projectile crabs. I don't know if I properly showed them off in the last video for, for Virtue Door, but... You can see pretty well here that they are. Yep, there he goes. He throws his claw at you. His claw glip. Um, yeah, I'm tying all my LPs together. We got crabs everywhere. We got mushroom people everywhere. Am I in the Mushroom Kingdom? I am in the Mushroom Kingdom. I am in Mutango, also known as the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh boy, just reached level 2 on the axe. And I'm pretty sure the axe has more than 2 levels. So... Um, yes it does. Okay, good. And actually, I, I said in a video it passed. Um, in a video that has already passed. That the axe here... I mean, not the axe, the, the, the sprite here. That I misspelled his name, P-O-P-O-E-I, and that it was supposed to be P-O-P-O-I. Well, I have seen in some places where it was spelled both ways. Uh, different places spelled it different ways. I think the phonetic pronunciation of it is Popoe. And I think some people romanize it by putting EI and some people romanize it by putting I. But then it would be Popoe. So I don't know if it's two syllables or three syllables. I don't speak Japanese. That's why I'm playing this as a challenge because I don't know what it says. I'm trying to beat the game without knowing anything that they're saying, just from memory and making up story as we go along so that you can kind of follow along because it's kind of like reading a storybook without being able to under... I don't know what... yes. Uh, it's kind of like reading a book with no words. So it's like looking at a picture book. And I am having to tell you what the pictures mean. I don't know what I'm talking about. So this is a Komodo bird. I'm sure I already introduced you to him. You reach level two on the pole dart. I don't think I've no I've mentioned that either, but some of the treasures run away from you. And I just got nameless item. 
I don't actually know what he drops. I think he drops chocolate, maybe? I don't know, maybe he dropped a piece of equipment. That would be cool. Uh, no. Uh, no. Um, uh, I'm not, don't, don't see anything. You can, wait, what was that? Did he drop that? What is that? Is that the thing that Randy starts the game off with? Man, I need to sell some of this stuff. 13. Oh, they're just spread out. That's... Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to the girl. And... Not hit the enemy at all. Oh, there we go. That works. These enemies, um... It's good to use magic on them. Because they are harder to hit than some enemies are. Uh, because they're flying. And, uh, they have a higher evade, apparently. So, yeah. Kill the Komodo birds. Komodo. Komodo birds. Again, tying all of my LPs together. This, uh, the Komodo dragons. In Chrono Cross, I just called him a Komodo bird, but it's a kimono. He's wearing a kimono. That is not his name in Japanese. His name is actually, uh... Something like Conjurer. I don't know. I don't have my enemy list pulled up. Oh. And, uh, by the way, I do have a bunch of playlists. A uh, playlist. Uh, player's guides. Accessibility to player's guides for this game. Um, but I know it so well I'm not using them for the purpose of this LP. I do have a list of the enemy names so that whenever I have it up, I can show you the names of the enemies or tell you the names of the enemies, just to point out the differences between these games. And, uh, the names of the characters in Japan and in English. Okay, so I need the whip. Wait, she reached level 2 on the pole dart. Is that the highest level it goes? No, I just got an upgrade for it. That's right! It's level 3 now, and the boy! What are you doing? Why do you have a weapon that you're fully webble webbled up on? Webbled up! Yay! I know words! Wow, you need the whip badly, dude! And we need the whip in this area, so... Come on, boy. Jump up to the gun. What? Don't jump the gun. Jump up to the plate. Step up to the plate? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm confusing myself. So here's another instance, um... Not this particular area, but, I mean, this particular place, but, um, this area of the game is one of the very few areas in the game that takes advantage of the accessibility to chop through rocks. <clears throat> I think that the whip actually gets used more than the axe, and I think I talked about that in the last episode, <clears throat> how if I made a game... I think it would be really similar to Secret of Mana, but I would make the interaction of the weapons and the environment far more crucial to the advancement of the characters, not the advancement of the plot necessarily, though it would be kind of interesting to incorporate the weapons' abilities into the plot. I don't know how you do that, but I'm sure you could figure it out. So yeah, use the whip and the axe, and the music is awesome in this game. Quit it. I think I didn't know the name of them in the last video. Or maybe it was the video before that. Whatever. They're called Pebblers. Um in the in Secret of Man. Pebbler. Don't know why I couldn't remember that. It's such a common word. I mean, everybody knows what a pebbler is. This area right here, it's just the double back area. One of the staircases. Later on, leads back to that area. Doo -doo -doo. I'm a little ahead of the music. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yay, the music in this game is awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, one of the reasons I'm not using magic, I generally use magic on my treks between one place and another uh, when there isn't a boss fight in between the two, betwixt the two. But there is a boss fight in this area, spoiler alert, even though the, the king told us that there was a giant snake in the woods. And actually, that snake, uh, called the Great Viper, is 
called a dragon in the Japanese word. I don't remember what kind of dragon he is. I think it's called the white dragon or something. Blah, blah, blah. I'm saying nonsense. That doesn't matter. I killed a peddler. And is there any reason to come down here? No, but there's stuff that I can cut up with the axe. Yay! Forewarn thee. Get out of my way. Kimono bird? Wow. Those two words, they're so easy to confuse. I never had a problem saying kimono until I played Chrono Cross. Kimono Cross! Yay! Oh. Calm down, you two. Oh, and also, um... The... I'm going to talk about why I, uh... I was going to talk about. So I am going to now. Uh, why I decided to do Secret of Mana today instead of uh, my other two BTAT games. It's because BTAT means bonus time action town, by the way, for those of you who are not watching all 50 million of my LPs, all 13 of them. Um, Chrono Cross and, uh, and Puzzle Quest are the other two. Um, I looked at the view counts on my videos for these two games. Popo I just got level 3 on the axe. Um, he was using the axe, right? Yes, he was. Wow, he hasn't used the bow at all. Not once. Popo A, you need to get your act together and use the bow. Yay! Um, I... I looked at the view count. I wanted to see which one of these games was mo most popular, and since uh, I haven't gotten a whole lot of feedback on the videos, even though I am getting views on the videos, which I like, um, I decided to go with the game that was getting the most views. Oh my goodness, hopefully I just died. Um, until I do get start, start getting some kind of feedback, because I my channel is not too huge right now, and a lot of my viewers are not necessarily uh, commenting viewers, which is fine with me. Um, I'm still going to put out comment uh, content, uh, but I use the comments as a way of determining what people are enjoying about my videos, what of my series that they are enjoying. Um, and at that particular time, I noticed that Seek and Densetsu 2, Secret of Mana JP, oh boy, he got to level up right before he, right after he died. If he could have just held out, he would have got to level up and got all his life back. Um, so yeah, this was my most popular bonus time action town game, so I decided to play it again because I want to give the viewers what they want to see, and the most viewers were watching this series. Oh, come on. Alright, here's an example of, uh, I'm poisoned. I mean, uh, confusion. I'm pushing down, I'm pushing right, uh, left. Okay, and it just whirled. Um, and I was right in the, in the last video. Um, the spell that he uses is called Silence. And it does silence and confuse. Who was that? Randy got level 2 on the whip? He did. And I'm gonna keep the whip because I think I need it again. In this area. Purim got level three on the pole dart. Sweet. Don't know why it's squeaking. Okay, you have the pole dart. You need the axe beak. Yes, I will give you the axe beak. Sweet. All right, let's go over Hyanda. What was I talking about? Uh, second Insetsu two, second, second, whatever. Holy Sword Legend. Whatever you want to call it. Um, yes. Final Fantasy Advance 2. <laughs> I think at one point in time, this game, before they had chosen an American name for it, I saw it in Nintendo Power, they called the game Final Fantasy Adventure 2. Um, pretty sure you need to use our slide here. Pretty sure. Not positive. Our slide. Earth slide? Yes, Earth slide with the weird animation. Yes! You hear a distant sound! Congratulations! Let's go see what the distant sound was! And the spikes are gone! They're all crumbled to death now. Whatever that means. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the double back staircase. Oh, no, it's not. Um, I wanted to show you the double back. Wait, what? 
I'm confused. What just happened? Where am I? Who am I? What is this place? Why do I have a afro? A white afro with uh, yeah, red polka dots on it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Actually, I do, but I don't know why I'm talking about it. Okay, I am going... Why do you have... Why did your mana not come back? Oh, we gotta level up! That makes sense! So his mana went up to 14. Does she have any attack spells yet? She doesn't. I think the first attack spell she gets is the next elemental. Um, another thing that I would have probably done in this game, I know I talk about a lot of the things that I would like to, not necessarily like to change about the game, but if I was to be inspired by this game, I would, um, um, I would do a little bit of balancing in the game. I mean, I love the game, and I believe, as someone who has beaten this game about 25 times, that I have, um, uh, a pretty good awareness of where certain things in the game could be improved upon and may have been improved upon in later games in the series. I am not hitting this guy at all. So, he is an heir, so he will probably not like it if I use Silphid on him. Um, I would space out all of the little areas where you get the, the magic at and where you get the weapons at. Like, uh, there's some areas where you get the weapons all clumped up into one. I would probably... Um, obviously give you the first three weapons that the characters start off with, but I think it's cool how the boy started off without a weapon and you had to go find it. Um, I think it would have been interesting to have uh, sort of a cutscene in the game where you had these other two characters, you meet them before they actually join up with the boy, and have them all have a quest or, or a, a scenario that leads them to their weapon, like the girl, why does she have knuckles? It's never explained. The, the sprite, it explains why he has um, a boomerang, because it, or no, it explains why he had the bow, uh, because it washed down the cliff, but it doesn't explain why he has a boomerang. So I would explain why they're, they're, um, they have an affinity for those weapons. What am I looking for? I need to heal Randy. Um, and I would have spaced the weapons out, like, um, you get the you get the, 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 the sword, and then you get the spear, uh, right after the sword, which I like the about the distance between the sword and the spear. I think there should at least be a boss battle in between each one of the weapons, or maybe the bosses could give you the weapons, I don't know. Uh, they give you the weapon orbs in this game. Um, but the uh, after that you get the knuckle from the girl, and then you get the, if you go in the proper order, I, I did it out of order in the game think. I don't know. Um, and then you get the sprite, and when you get the sprite, you get the boomerang and the bow and the axe at the exact same time. And I would like it that those things would have been spaced out a little bit. And then right after that, you get the, the whip, and then you beat a boss, and then you get the pull dart. And that's all the weapons in the game. So, guys! Whoa! Whoa! Sprite! Sprite! Lay off the die juice! That is a reference to Breath of Fire. I said that in Breath of Fire. I think. Yes, pretty sure. I don't know where it came from. Just decided to say Die Juice one day, and it worked. It came out. It was funny. I approve. I guess you could call that a phrase that I made up. Also known as a meme. Well, I think a meme, by definition, isn't necessarily a phrase that someone made up, but it's a phrase that has become popular by unconventional means. I think. I don't know. So, here we have a door, and here we have her, and I want to heal her again. Um, yes. And prepare to fight a giant snake! You thought I was going to say prepare for boss time, didn't you? So anyways, there's the viper. I am going to use, I'm pretty sure he's weak against Silphid. Ooh. Pretty sure he is. 52 from the whip, the whip, and he midgesizes us. So that's not cool. And I didn't. And the girl died. That's great. How in the world 
did he take her entire life bar away? That is ridiculous. He took all 172 hit points away from her. Can you still use magic while you're smidge-sized? Smidged! Okay, I want to see how much this does. Normally I have my magic leveled up, but I haven't been... 86. Okay, that's not bad. I can use it twice more on him. And girl, you need to remedy me up here. I don't know why I didn't use an all of them. Whatever. Oh, oh crap. Oh gosh! Everybody's dying! I'm gonna use an all of us, hopefully this sprite won't die. And I didn't catch it in time. Wow, we are severely underpowered for this battle. I love this music so much. It is probably my favorite. Probably my favorite. I love this music so very much. I um, never tried to put lyrics to this song before. Song before. Do, 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 do. Man, the music of this game is awesome. You know what I'm going to do right now? Since I don't have too much to say through this boss battle other than you self it on him. How does he still have 4 MP? Um, I'm going to turn up the music here because it's so awesome. Okay, we just killed him, not without dying three million times ourselves, and this part right here, I believe, could probably be confusing to someone. Um, I don't think it's altogether clear that that is a path out of here, and I believe somebody may have gotten stuck there before, I think. I may have even gotten stuck there, or somebody told me that they got stuck there. I don't know. Regardless, you have to walk up through the trees, and that music was incredible, and boy, your AI is not the best. Uh, but, in their defense, they are AI. And there's the draft again. And his name is Falcor. No, it's not. His name is Flamey. Actually, I don't think his name is Flamey in Japan. Japan. Japanese. Um, not sure what's going on here. I think um, I think the sprite or the girl says, "Oh, he looks lonely. Maybe he's lost his mother." We should take him back to the king. 
Yeah. He'll know what to do with him. And the dragon sitting on the throne. That's great. Thank you for rescuing the dragon. Blah, 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 blah. What do you want to call him? I know. Let's call him Flamey. I like how he asks us a question and then he just answers it himself. Um, you can leave him right here with me for now. Um, and I'll help him grow up strong. Um, but for now, if you go to the Cannon Travel Center to the southeast of town, um, you can travel to... Where do we travel to? Taznica, I think? I don't know. I can't remember actually where we go next. I think we go to the f snow or the desert or something. Yes. So take a Cannon Travel Center. And you can go there. Uh, there's a name, Flamey. And, um... Yeah. So, congratulations on killing the dragon and rescuing the dragon. Wow, that, that made sense. Killing the snake and rescuing the dragon. Wow, that music is so depressing. So let's sit here and mope. We got the sword orb. Turned into a claymore. So, this has been Seek and Densetsu 2. Let's stop listening to this uh, depressing music. Come back out here to the steel drums or maracas or whatever that is. Um, I'm Tarquin. Thanks for watching. Bye.